Welcome to the Oasis. My name is Mike and today I'm going to be talking to you about cables. Now I covered this in a video some time ago but since then a few things have changed and uh, to be honest there is only really one cable that I would recommend now to use for your sensors and your USB cable for your Oculus Rift. Now this is a cable that I've been using since I did that original video and that is a cable made by Ugreen. Now they do two different types of USB 3.0 cable. They do a 5 meter one and they also do a 10 meter one. So in this video I'm going to be talking about the 5 meter one because I've used this for some time but also I want to be showing you guys the 10 meter one because I've not tried this one before so I want to test this one on the Oculus Rift and also on my sensors because I've got three sensors running around my setup which I'll show you very shortly and some are sort of a considerable distance away and a 10 meter cable would be really really useful. Now the reason why I use three sensors over four, I do actually have a fourth, but to be honest I find three sensors absolutely fine and uh, it's, it, it works absolutely flawlessly and I haven't had any tracking issues so I haven't felt the need to put up my fourth sensor. In fact I just kind of keep it uh, above my monitors just in case I want to sit at my desk and use my Rift there. So in this video like I say we're going to unbox these uh, cables, the 5 meter one and the 10 meter one uh, USB 3.0 active repeat your extension cable from Ugreen and uh, I can sort of give you my impressions on whether I sh you should use this uh, on your Oculus Rift and your sensors. So far uh, in my extensive testing I would recommend using the 5 meter one with the Rift and the sensors that works flawlessly but it'll be interesting to see how the 10 meter cable performs. So without further ado let's dive in. show you guys is where I mount my sensors so this is uh, one sensor up here and I've used some trunking down here to kind of hide the cable away and with this one I use a two USB 2.0 extension cable so that knocks this down to USB 2.0 and then this one here similar sort of deal again I trunk it down here this one I use a USB 3.0 extension cable on uh, which is uh, um, five meters but obviously I don't need all that because the PC is just there. And then coming all the way over here uh, is my third sensor. So hopefully you can see this with the light because light is crazy in here. So that's the third sensor right there. And I cable it all the way down here, all the way along there behind the desk and to my PC which is there. So that's quite a long cable run and uh, this is the one I'm probably going to use the 10 meter cable for. Um, not that I have any issues with um, my uh, tracking or anything right now. Uh, as you can see uh, everything is all green with my sensors. I've just unplugged one so this was the cable that I was using before which was the um, uh, cable creations cable. Uh, it's all in all, it's uh, it's not a bad cable, but uh, to be honest, if you use this with the Rift itself, it will give you audio problems. So it's good for sensors, but not for the Rift itself. And that's kind of why I recommend uh, the Ugreen cable, which um, I've got the 10 meter one here. And that's because with this cable, uh, you can use it on the Rift, you can use it on the sensors, and it won't give you any audio issues whether you use it on the Rift or not either. So um, it'll be interesting to see how the 10 meter one performs with that long cable run. But let me just test it before I put this on the sensor. I want to test it on the Rift first and see what results I can get with that. So I will be right back. Okay guys, so this is the cable that I currently use at the moment as a breakout cable. And as you can see here, it has a Ugreen 5 meter cable on it already and also a 5 meter HDMI with a small repeater box in the middle. Basically two female uh, HDMI ends and it works as a repeater. So you can plug the Rift uh, HDMI into this and the USB into this and that's a 5 meter extension cable for both. And this uh, cable has been a godsend, it's worked absolutely flawlessly since I've used it but I'm just curious to see if the 5 meter HDMI will work with the 10 meter USB extension cable 
And then if that does work, then maybe I'll go out and buy a 10 meter HDMI cable just to see if that works because I'm a little bit curious. Okay, let's do this. Okay guys and girls, so it's been about a week now since I installed the Ugreen cables in my Oculus Rift setup and I'm pleased to report that both the 5 meter cable and the 10 meter cable from Ugreen performed flawlessly. I was able to use the 10 meter cable to extend my Oculus Rift cable and play Apex Construct with zero issues and also I was able to use the 10 meter cable to extend all the way out to my third sensor with zero tracking problems or any issues with the tracking whatsoever so I would wholeheartedly recommend these cables. Obviously, if you want to extend your Oculus Rift up to 10 meters, you're also going to need a decent 10 meter HDMI uh, cable, uh, which I'll put a link to in the description down below. And you'll also need one of these, which is a HDMI repeater, which I'll also put in the description down below. Now, if you continue to have issues with your sort of sensors or your Oculus Rift uh, losing uh, sort of tracking for whatever reason, whilst using these cables, it's more likely to do with your motherboard USB 3.0 ports. Now, if you're having that issue, I would recommend you check out the StarTech PCIe USB 3.0 card. Now, it is a pricey card, but it has worked flawlessly. And since I've had that card installed, I've had no issues with, you know, extending my sensors or running these 10 meter cables on my Oculus Rift. You may just have, uh, you know, it may just work flawlessly for you using your, your motherboard's USB ports, but it's just one to bear in mind if you're having issues. Let me know in the comments down below if you found any other cables that work for you or you found ones that don't work for you. We'd love to know because it's really great to share this information amongst the community so we know which ones to avoid, but also let me know which ones you've had success with. Also, let me know if you're interested in checking out these cables for yourself, because like I say, they do work exceptionally well. Make sure you leave a like if you like this video and it was helpful for you. Make sure you subscribe for all my future content. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.